and welcome to FS19 new mods. Today we have a few mods to show you. I'm UK Gamer 808 and in this video we go through the Farming Simulator mod hub and show you what new mods have been released. So we've had a few released for end of the week so let's go to the mod hub in game to see what we're looking at today. And here's today's new mods. Now we have the Ponce Elephant King which is says that's the biggest one in the fleet that is so that's uh, 270 grand and a loading rating of 20,000 kilos and we got blade and engine grill configurations loading space configurations and the large Ponce 055 grapple by the North Modding Company then we also have the Ponce Bear by North Modding Company which is your harvester and that's 380 grand and it's got all the cab leveling looks pretty cool bit of kit then we have a new rack which is a placeable rack for storing seed pallets or whatever you want i suppose really by wmr modding then we have a placeable farm silo a small farm silo for the possibility to store feed grass hay straw pig food silage mixed ration silo price 50 grand capacity 100,000 liters by Richie I, Rich I F. Then we have Seasons Geo Georgia, and that's by Adub Modding, and plenty of harvest time on that one. Then we have a update for the fuel safe, which is new wear dirt map. Switch to NNC brand instead of Lizard. Now the tension belt support more color choices. And then there's a update for Hull Macra. So that's an update for the update. But there's a few little problems on that as well. And plus it doesn't tell you, if you download that and you've got another Hull Macra game, it's gonna delete it. Right, that's um, made by Pixel Farm North Modding Company. I wish we would just known that you needed a new save game. Then we have the Lizard Car Trailer update, and that's new dirt in ambient occlusion texture by Kazdan18. And we have Seasons Geo California by Adab Modding, and there's plenty of harvest and planting time on that one. And that's your lot for FS19 new mods today. Right then, first off, we have the small silo multi fruit. Now, this costs £50,000 and is minus nine on the slot count, and it will hold 100,000 litres of each commodity. It doesn't hold all commodities, but I'll show you that very shortly. But it's a nice little silo. It's a little bit different to the rest, where we got a nice cover over the top and we can drop off in. We've got a drop-off bin and we can fill up from the spout in the same place. So I don't think this stuff, yeah, all this stuff is fixed on here. Is it pretty short? Yeah. And the pallets probably are as well. Yeah, they are. So let's jump in the truck. Now check this out to see if it works and didn't have any issues with it. I've got a little bit of canola in the back now it is quite high so you're not gonna you shouldn't struggle with the tippers or well, you might do if it's a full load because it probably go up keep going up and drop that down and then we have canola sunflowers soybeans corn total mixed rations silage grass hay straw pig food wheat barley oats so it doesn't hold everything but it holds enough to be going on with so you can't complain about that can you i don't think it had any lighting on there that i could see no it hasn't we haven't got any lights on it not that you need it i suppose it is uh, pretty open so that is the new small silo multi fruit right the next mods are at the shop so i will see you there in a moment and here is our next FS19 new mod, which is the rack. 
Now I seem to be having a bit of an issue on Sussex Farms at the moment. You can see there's the other bits of kit and everything seems to be floating. You can see even the cars over there are floating so I don't know what that's all about. Anyway here's the rack. Now it is a placeable so wherever you're going to put it it's there forever. So if you want to move it you're going to have to sell it and then move it. The advantage is, I suppose, at least it's not going to fall over when you run into it because it is pretty solid. So it's £250 to buy and it's minus one on the slot count. And obviously we got the big bucket on the top there so it can handle the load on it. But you can see you jump in the, the telehandler and you see it is totally fixed. You're not going to move that whatsoever. But quite handy little item for holding all your bits and bobs on especially all your attachments for telehanders and that sort of thing these are pretty handy bits of kit so that is the rack right then next off we have two new logging machines so we have the elephant and the bear the ponce bear let's have a look at the ponce bear first so the bear is the harvester and cracking bit of kit this look at that fantastic really highly detailed it looks fantastic really does anyway quite a few different options on it on it now the bear will cost you three hundred and eighty thousand pounds and it's nineteen thousand three hundred and eighty on your initial leasing costs it's minus sixteen on the slot count so not a huge amount and it does do 12 mile an hour top speed, which I know some of them only did, I think it was about six mile an hour. So 12 mile an hour isn't too bad. Now you can change the main colors on these and the rim colors, the rim main colors are 700 quid to change. And then the main colors are a thousand. And on that one, we can change, there's an extra color option for the design color, I think it was. Now you can have, see on this one, we've got the blade you can have the blade and no guard which that guard there for three grand or you can have the blade with the guard for five grand or you can have just the guard on its own for two grand they've all got the same options on it for that sort of stuff so so going inside of it then and going inside it's just like the other ones really I haven't noticed a major difference Going on to the next view, we have got a couple of different views, and then we got that view as well, and then we got that view, which is your main view. Perhaps it's the other one then. We can turn around the opposite way, just like that. And then, yeah, there's the in-cab view. There's two in-cab views, basically, by the looks of things. Let's start that up. And it's got the set the limits on the logs there you can see we've got all the different increments let's put the help window on so I can show you all the options you see we go up to 14 50, 15 meters is the maximum cut length on them which is a half decent size now the bear is one of the biggest it is sorry it is the biggest bit of equipment that pumps do so it said in the description and you can see it's a fair old size now controls wise you see in the top there we have got two different control groups where you've got group one and group two so let's first have a look on group one so group one we showed you your cut lengths for your logs and then this one just does your main arm basically so we've got our two different booms now this will go up pretty high as well pretty high and pretty far because you can tilt it over that way just like that let's boom it out a bit and then we have got the extension on the boom there and look at that look how far that goes that's pretty cool isn't it so that is your normal controls which is normal as in everything else now there are some extra controls on this one if we hold down the L1 on the R1 and we got the spinny around just like that and then we can also tip the head down it's always handy for picking logs up off the ground now you've also got 
or is it that one where you can actually grab it yourself it is automatic where it grab it anyway but you can pick it up just in case you want to pick something off the deck you can do now we go into the next group and then basically this one here what does your blade which I haven't got on this it does your blade and you can see on the back there let's jump out and show you this is one of the ones with the extra hydraulics on the, the bottom mount you can see we can actually move that up and down to give you that extra bit of leverage there it is I said left and right on the D it out this whole down the L one and then left and right on the joypad and the analog sorry and then on the other side there's nothing there same with that one so that one is just that controls there and it's not doing up down yeah of course the other one's the blade like I said so that's the controls for it now it does say it's pretty good at handling large trees so let's give it a go shall we we get it into cutting position and I think we've cut eight meter logs so let's get this up over here now I've got this tree just over there and let's see if we can just boom out right we want to lift that up boom out actually let's get so we can see where the bloody tree is spin that around a little bit and then oh and then down we go and you can see it's uh it's letting me cut it when we're quite far away so we'll have that and it didn't even flinch it it didn't even move or anything so cut those into your six meter lengths and they might be a little bit long for the for the forwarder anyway but never mind we've done them now so let's just cut them I haven't found any issues with it it seems to be working no problems whatsoever so let's bring that boom back in now we have got a huge choice of different tracks on these vehicles and we'll have a look in the shop shortly actually and just show you those because there is quite a quite a few on there all right so in this shop let me show you all the different things you can have like this one you can have the rim color we've got all these different colors available for it all as well which is always nice loads of colors and then we've got the main color as well you can change and this is what the one with a different load space on there you can do like that and then wheel options we've got knock-ins which is standards and then we got the olives fours which basically we've got all these different options which we got the red and the yellow and the blues and the silvers so lots and lots of different choices they're all about the same money they don't cost sort of any more than normal but uh, that is your options for it loads of options for those tracks but that is the bear the bear is a beast nice bit of kit looking forward to putting that through its paces I'll probably do a little test drive on that take it up to a whole micro or something like that and give it a go right the next one we are looking at is the elephant king now this is quite another cracking mod fantastic there it is the elephant king pumps same thing again with this highly detailed looks fantastic now this one is a little bit cheaper it's two two hundred and seventy thousand pounds to buy and your initial leasing costs are thirteen thousand seven hundred and seventy we've got trailer hitches on these as well and i've hooked them out and they carry a forwarding trailer no problem hooked straight on which is always nice minus 15 on the slot count whereas that the other one was minus 16 so it's only one different 354 horses now we do have a little bit different there's two different beds on these you see we've got that bed there and then you look over this side and that bed there is slightly different so let's have a look at this one first so going inside and it's the same 
Same as the other one, all looks pretty good. And we have the extra boom. Yeah, that's. I thought there was a left and a right on the boom, and there it is there on the camera. So, normal crane controls on this one. And then we can boom out to quite far. So, it's not too bad at all, that. So let's give it a go and see if we can pick up one of these logs, especially if I can pick it up in the middle, that'll help even more. Right, so we've got the controls to open. Open the grab, drop that down. Pick it up. And in it goes. Oh, no, well, it would be in if I put it into the, the vehicle itself, wrong way. Come on then, drop that down. Wrong way, get it in there. Yeah, and they're probably a little bit long. That's going to fall off, isn't it? I know it is. Looks like I've got too much. It probably should be six or seven metre lengths maximum. We've got it out. We've got it strapped in, so it is holding. So you can get away with eight metre lengths, but it's probably a bit too much for it, isn't it? Right, so same thing again with the crane controls. The first set are your left and right on your boom and your up and down. And that's on the right analog. Then you hold down the R1 and then we've got the boom out. Boom in and then up and down on that boom. Hold down the R1 and the R1 and then we've got just your normal grab and then spinny around function just like that. So going on to the crane uh, control group support arm two, and this one, this is quite a cool one. So we're holding down the, I think it's the R1, and basically that goes up and down just like that. And then if we go up and down, we have the blade on the front there. And then if we hold down the R1, we have the extension, which, look at that, that's pretty cool. That's what you need, a nice big heavy load on there. You're going to get a load of logs on there. I'm going to put this one through its paces, I really am. Whereas on this one, we have two different beds. There are no extra money in the shop, it's the same money, but you can have this bed here or this bed here. So let's crack this one out and see we've got the, the silver tracks on this one. So we get that out of the way. So all the same crane controls again, put it on the crane group two. But this one, we got a tilt on the deck and then it also extends out like that. Which is pretty cool. And then we've got the blade on the front but we've also got if I can work out the button not that one not that one there it is it actually elevates up as well so you can because uh, when I first looked at it I thought well that's too small they've got to they've got to extend up and they do just like that but it's quite cool with the tilt bed on there as well if I can work that one out there it is there's quite a few different options, and but they're all there. You've just got to find them. But nice bit of kit, really is. We have got so much logging equipment now, and we can never get them. I think we've got probably more logging than anything else at the moment. Is there? There's a hell of a lot of logging, and we get more all the time, so it can't be bad. Unless you don't like logging, and then. You're probably a bit annoyed with it all, but a uh, nice bit of kit. Does the job. 
and I haven't tried it with a full load or anything like that I thought we'd do a, a proper mod review on that and go and put these through the paces get them up to um, Rogue River or something like that so uh, that is the Ponce Elephant and what a beast it really is the cracking mod all the detail on on all this is absolutely amazing looks fantastic looks like a real vehicle as simple as that all the hoses look, look good as well done a really good job fair bloody play right well that's your lot for end of the week mods now there was an update for Hull Macra where that is now doing farming but I wouldn't recommend it downloading it at the moment. There's still a few issues with it by the looks of things, so you're probably better off not using that. I'm a bit annoyed because I've added it into my game and it deleted my original game I had there. So I did want to do another map tour on that, but that's not going to be happening today. We'll wait for another update for the update, but never mind. Righto, well I hope you've enjoyed this first look mod review for Farming Simulator and if you did, always appreciate it if you smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel, why not go and check out one of my hundreds of other Farming Simulator videos. I've got plenty to choose from. We've got just topped over the 650 videos now, so there's a lot there. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.